I'm gonna try to sell some art tonight while I'm out hustling. All right, my goal is to get rid of all these. I, would, I wouldn't be mad keeping the canvas, but I wanna get rid of the Felix prints tonight if I can. Uh, we'll see. All right, quick update. Carrying your art around is totally the way to do Art Basel, right? A lot of people love it. We're actually gonna have uh, Zoe pretend like she bought it, and then I just came with the art to carry it for her or something. We don't really know, we're working that out. Over here we have the lions. Why is it such a little TV? Uh, well, because uh, next we, we have, have the Do you know rhino. why they're called the Big Five? Uh, yeah, because there's five of them and they're big. <laughs> That's true. Okay. But. And? Oh, I guess we've got a diversity of animals we've here. Got we got a rhino, hog. we got war dogs. Uh, and then we've got some elephants over okay. here. Of course, of course. Which are large. Wait, and before you large go and all the way, So we've got buffaloes. Before okay. you check over there. Okay. What would you guess is the fifth of the big five? Giraffe. No. Hardest animal to uh, find out of all the big five. Snake. No. It's a very difficult animal to find. Okay. Um, because it rolls by itself for the most part. Oh, uh, armadillo, like in a... No, it doesn't actually oh. roll, sorry. Oh. <laughs> I was, I was <laughs> you know what, they don't even have it. I thought it was going to be the big five. So what, it, what is this? The last one's a leopard. Oh. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, what is your name? There you are, Chris. Chris, what's up, Blake? There she goes. Oh, should we go get her? <laughs> no, but there she goes. And? <laughs> yeah, what's the... There she goes again. She calls my name. Uh, let's uh, Billy. let's figure this Don't out. Take them both. I can say I just I I bought it and picked it up. And I'll yeah, yeah, just in my just field. picked it up today. Actually, card. say you got it a presale on Tuesday. <laughs> that way, anybody that's been to whatever show you, it's at, like. She's telling you bought it at Target. No, uh, what the? Oh, f you're trying to upsell or downsell? No, we're trying to just. Oh, downsell is an option. No. <laughs> I'm saying you're trying to upsell. No. <laughs> we're just trying to sell. We're just trying to sell. Listen, I can upsell the out of this Okay. Yes. Okay. What was your you buy it on the spot. You didn't know his idea. What was your idea? No, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Well, his idea was to bash it over a, a very expensive car. We're going to go to the rooftop. And, uh, okay. No, I, we prefer if you join, actually. We prefer if you join. you actually paint it? I did paint that. I appreciate it. Thanks, man. I'm, I'm Thanks, a carpenter. Man. Don't run away. Don't run away with that. I'll be behind you. I'll be behind you. This is Felix? Look, this he, is ridiculous. He bought the one, other one Felix. One of the biggest artists going on yeah, right yeah. now. I bought the Felix, but this the right here, one Blake. That we saw Snoopy today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pay attention to this artist. What's Up and name? coming. Listen, Wait, this is who you said. want to follow. This guy's amazing. He did really good. Yeah, that's that's that was perfect. impressive. <laughs> that was impressive. I like Wait, that. Go. You're doing great. Everyone's doing great. Love everyone. This is my f***ing guy right here. He's the guy. This is my guy. Wherever the f*** he wants. I'm gonna plug Gem and Bolt in the video. Got it. I will. Yeah. yeah. Gem and Bolt! Woo! Woo! about 10 a.m. on Sunday morning. Football Sunday, I'm excited about that. We were out till like five. We met that dude, Chris, who is freaking amazing. I'm just trying to hit him up. Today's just gonna be relaxed recovery. Probably down on the beach, but I am gonna hit up Chris and see if he wants to uh, slang a little bit more Riley Black. So I ended up going back to the SLS. Uh, I pretended like I was just waiting for a collector to pick up a piece of art, and I wanted to show him another one, and then I was Riley Black's manager, which actually worked really well. So I'm gonna run with that the rest of the night. Going back to my car to pick up Dwayne Wade print for Tanya, who works at SLS. She's one of the hostesses. And she was a huge champion of my work and my show and also got me and my friends into several events while here in Miami. So I don't wanna go home with any art. So I'm gifting her this painting, or not a painting, it's a print. 
just to work on paper. And then I'm gonna go to uh, meet up with Chaka. We're gonna go to a Soho house and I'm gonna do the same thing. Hopefully they let me in with the art, but I'm just gonna pretend like I'm Riley Black's manager and then I'm meeting a collector to uh, show him the art. My brother, my brother. <laughs> Yo, yo, you like you like there you go, bro. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh. you had this right there. Yeah. And I was looking at it. I was like, damn. Deja vu. So I just dropped off a print for the hostess who's been hooking me up, plugging me at other parties all weekend. The security manager came up and he saw that I gave the print for her. And he's like, hey, bro, I've been taking care of you all week. Which he has. He's let me into the SLS every time. Whoever I'm with, whether it's a private party or not, I've been there a lot. So just went back to my car, got him a print. I'm giving him the Dan Marino on paper. And we went to shake hands and it's funny because he paid me 20 bucks. He just slipped me 20 bucks. And usually he's on the flip side of that. So he's getting 20 bucks from other people to like get let in or whatever. So uh, he definitely didn't have to do that, but it's cool. Anyways, back to the SLS one last time while I'm in Miami. I think, unless I go there tomorrow, I guess we'll see. Let's do it. Final day in Miami, just had a good lunch with Chaka at Soho House. And now I'm headed to get a tattoo. What? You'll see, it's gonna be dope. All right, here we are. I had to get a lucky one. If I'm gonna get a tattoo, it's gotta be lucky, right? I got the tattoo. This is kind of crazy. I'm like sweating like nuts. So I've gotten a lot of tattoos in my life, six tattoos, and they've all been pretty chill, hurt different amounts. But for some reason, I don't know, man, on my finger, I got this little side tattoo. At first it wasn't bad, and then it started to really get to me, and it was like pretty freaking painful, to be honest. Just wild because I've gotten so many bigger tattoos. I don't know if it's because of the finger, I don't know if it's the dude that did it, if the needle is different. Anyways, I gotta find some water, but I love the tattoo. This means, by the way, Maktoub. It's in Arabic, and it's in The Alchemist. It means, it is written. Basically about manifesting everything you want out of life, which is what I'm doing in life, and especially here in Miami. I feel like it was a great trip. I was listening to The Alchemist on Audible, on repeat the whole time because it's just such an important book in my life and it's really inspiring and gets me stoked about stuff like this. And I had very few plans coming in besides the one show on Wednesday and then just all just worked out and it was an amazing trip and so I wanted that for my Miami tattoo. All right, I'm gonna go find some water. So I'm taking home just a couple pieces. This one because Raekwon signed it so I'm gonna keep this one and send him a different one. Couple Riley Black pieces. Everything else is staying in Miami. Well, I made it back. The art box, a lot skinnier. Came with seven pieces, returned with three, which is great. And uh, that is the all the easels, display easels, eight of them that I bought and had shipped straight to Miami. And now I have four other shows, which is cool. Exhausted, calling an Uber. No metro today. Yourself. 